All right, Robert Newman here with uh, from California with Pam Dint, a Charlottesville area realtor and a lifetime resident of this community. She left for college and came back and has lived here, raised kids here, owned businesses here. And she's giving us a tour of Avinity, which is a local community. Um, she's gonna go ahead and give you all the real estate information, but I'm gonna ask that you please do us a favor and hit the subscribe or like button uh, right now so that you can get uh, updated on other community uh, information that Pam drops as time goes on. And with that, I'm turning it over to you, Pam. Okay, Avenity, um, again, it's a pretty new community. Uh, there are going to be some resales here among the, the townhomes, but there is still new construction here in the back of the community. There are some uh, of um, newer townhomes. I think there there are also back in here we're gonna go back into the new house where there new part where there are also villa homes as well as the townhomes. And right now in Avenity there are eleven um, townhomes and villas that are on the market. They're listed from 365,000 up to 483. And last year, um, 17 homes sold in the community, listed from three, and they sold from 309,000 to 403,000. Uh, so you can see the different style. You can see the villas over here to the right townhomes to the left and in the front of the community are some uh, townhomes uh, the style with the more modern with the uh, rooftop terrace these are a bit more traditional and again you're going to have some mountain views across behind here and we are conveniently located probably a mile from Wegmans and then on into the city of Charlottesville. So it's very important, very convenient for people that are working in Charlottesville. And also uh, the community is right next to the Kale Elementary School. So if you're, if you're um, moving in with young children, you're right right next to their school. The community has um, a little clubhouse here and a um, little playground. So there are some amenities. And you can see the back sort of looking up the, up the hill here. And to our right is the green space. As you pointed out consistently, probably a pond, that little water feature right there will probably turn into a pond that people can ice skate on when it gets cold. <laughs> Something, yeah, it, it was there for, you know, put in for stormwater retention and also, you know, um, residue coming off from the, from the construction, but yeah, it will stay a pond. You can see there's a little dog area, dog dog park area there. People can exercise their exercise their dogs and or themselves. Yeah. <laughs> and coming up to the top of the hill, you're going to be able to see the um, other townhouse style which has the rooftop terraces. Um, right up at the end of the end of the street up here. Let's see a few of a few of those. Some of these units have fairly tall construction with windows on top, so I don't know what 
those are, but probably contain a view or two of the, the hills around them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think those would be the uh, basement level, but there also is a terrace up. And you can see all the way up is sort of with that rooftop terrace, there's kind of a little room covered area too. And sometimes people put a wet bar in those or, you know, little, little kitchen, rooftop kitchen. Yeah. Going down, you can see the mountains in the not too distant distance. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the tour of Avenity. Uh, once again, uh, for those of you who are watching, if, uh, if you, any questions got answered, hit the like button, which helps other people find the video. And if you have questions, go ahead and leave a comment for Pam. She's uh, constantly on the prowl. The reason we're doing these communities is these are the ones that historically she's been asked about. So that's how we did the list of communities. Um, it's how she does the list of communities on her website. But if there's something that uh, that you don't see personally, you can always leave her a comment. I'm sure she'd be